Greetings and salutations. Ah yes, the lovely part of going from third shift back to second shift. Insomnia. <laughs> it never fails to kick in. Oh well, <laughs> that's what napping I guess is for, right? So, I decided, story time. Why not? So I have a story for you. I am a single mom, so I've been a single mom twice actually. Uh, my oldest child, I uh, got pregnant when I was in college. I was 19. And um, the father and I, great guy, wonderful, wonderful dad to our son, wonderful dad to our son. Um, but we didn't work out as a couple. So I was a single mom throughout college and then married somebody else, you know, down the road, as did he. And with that marriage, it lasted about 14 years and ended, unfortunately, in divorce. Well, fortunate. It's a mixed bag. But, um... So I was a single mom again of my younger two kids. So I have three total. So being a single mom on Mother's Day sucks. <laughs> it's um, it's a great day to be with your kids. Yes, it's wonderful to you know to be with them, and to get all the hugs you, you can and everything. But there's some drawbacks. Um, when you're a single mom. There's nobody taking the kids shopping for cards and presents. Not that I'm, like, super materialistic. But, you know, you know, breakfast in bed, you know, a flower, a homemade card. Oh, my God. I do I have occasionally, occasionally gotten a homemade card now and then for a couple birthdays. And I've saved literally every single one. I've actually saved a lot of my kids' artwork. I, I like their stuff. Um, But... Yeah, you don't really have anyone kind of reminding the kids, hey, Sunday's Mother's Day, or, you know, yeah. You don't you don't have that when you're a single mom, which kind of, it bites a little bit, you know? And then the other part of it is you don't really have anyone taking you out for brunch unless you're doing it. <laughs> when you're a single mom, there is no dad or even in my case, an uncle or brother, <laughs> you know, that will, you know, take you and the kids out for brunch. It's like, yep, that's it. <laughs> a lot of times I'm cooking, cleaning on Mother's Day, and it's not a day off at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I am complaining a little bit. Um, it's just, it's different. You know, when you're married, Mother's Day is one way, where, you know, Dad is usually kind of encouraging the kids to, you know, to pamper Mom for the day, and it is nice, you know. And, and there were a couple Mother's Days while I was married that were actually quite pleasant. Um, but when you're back to being a single mom, it's kind of a, uh, <laughs> you know, it's different. So there was this one time, hence the story time. There was this one time I was, um, I was dating someone that I had actually dated back in high school. And it was the time of year Mother's Day had come up. And I asked, I said, there's one thing that I really, 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 really want for Mother's Day. And he's like, What? I said, for one day, I don't want to feel like a single mom. <laughs> I said, just for one day, can we just fake it, you know, and stuff. And I just, I don't want to feel like a single mom just for one day. And yeah, he did. And it was, it was probably, we had a friendship too, in addition to dating. And it was probably one of the best things that a friend could do for a single mom. Uh, we went out to the botanical gardens, we had photos, you know, taken and stuff, and and we just, you know, simple candid ones, and we went out to dinner, and it was just nice being the four of us, and it just, it felt normal. <laughs> it, it felt normal for a little while, for a few hours, you know, and it's like, it was nice not to feel like a single mom, just for half the day, you know, and it was a relief because it's not easy. It's not easy being a single mom, first of all, and it's not easy. It's not easy feeling like you're failing what was expected of you and feeling like you're not measuring up to what you could be, you know, it is easier to raise kids when there's more than one adult in the house. And that goes for single dads or single moms. Yeah, we overcompensate a lot <laughs> when it comes to the efforts. And it's exhausting. It really is exhausting. And it does help when there's a second grown-up around, whether it's a, a nanny, a sister, a brother, aunts, uncles, grandparents. You know, any second adult sometimes is really a huge, huge help. Um... But when you're a single parent, you're also very stubborn and very independent and very 
I'm going to do this. I'm going to measure up. I'm going to, I'm going to handle this. It's exhausting. <laughs> Emotionally, financially, everything, physically, the works. It's exhausting. It really is. You, you, you do overcompensate a lot. You do. And you do, you miss the companionship, but you don't want to risk the wrong kind of companionship because that is catastrophic personal experience on that one. Um, you don't want to risk the wrong kind of companionship just because you're a single parent. And you, you know, you also, you know, you want to enjoy the kids as much as you can without the distraction of somebody else around too, romantically. So it's, it is helpful when it is someone, you know, more like, you know, like when I had my nanny for a little while after the divorce, that was easier, much, much easier. And it was funny with this, okay, second story. I was coming home from work one day and the nanny, oh, amazing, amazing woman. She was cooking in the kitchen. You know, so I come home to this, the kitchen just smells amazing. And here she is, you know, in there doing everything. The kids were quietly doing their homework. The house was clean. I'm like, damn, I can see why guys get married. <laughs> That was literally what I thought. And I was like, I, I, I feel the urge to just lean over and kiss her on the cheek. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I see why guys do this. You know, you work hard all day long and you come home and everything's fine. It's like, yeah, this, I get it. <laughs> so crazy, huh? Oh, so that's tonight's late night insomnia confessions for you. It's a pretty deep ones, I guess, huh? But um, that's what Chatterbox is for is for the opportunity to open up and let people know how I really feel. And maybe now and then some of you fight, might feel the same and feel maybe a little less alone in how you're struggling or dealing or coping or strengthening or, or whatever you guys are going through too. But um, those are my deep confessions for tonight's lack of sleep night and stuff. So have a great day tomorrow. The weekend is upon us. Yay. <laughs> all the best to y'all. Good night.